I like it when the players have got a test, especially in a Lynx golf course. Like next week at the Open, I'm hoping it's wet, it's windy, it's because they don't want to take up major championship week. Like that's maybe going to affect their chances of having the top players on TV twice about playing the Scottish Open next year. Now, a tall player has shared a conspiracy theory about the Scottish Open. Now, I'm going to say right away, I am extremely skeptical. Twitter is divided, but together, let's see what we think. So this has come from Eddie Pepperell. Now, he's not just a nobody. Multiple winner, played in major championships. Yes, probably not in the form that he'd want to be in right now, but his conspiracy theory is certainly a little bit of a hunch. Now, before we get into what he has said all over Twitter, and it literally has the golf industry in a storm, what a performance from Rory McIlroy. Birdieing the last, the last three holes he played on. Real That three iron into the last, that low stinger, absolutely mega. And also, it's safe to say, Robert McIntyre, what a performance too. That would have gone down an absolute storm. A Scottish golfer winning the Scottish Open. So fair play to the rest of them. And I'm going to say right now, I am well and truly up for the Open after watching that. Well and truly. Watching Lynx golf like that makes me want to play, but also I can't wait to be at the Open. Does that make Rory one of the favourites? I would love to hear. Come on, let's get our early predictions in here. After watching the Scottish Open, I mean, Scheffler up there again, another top five finish. That guy is just a machine. Who do we think is going to win the Open Championship? But fair play. What a Scottish Open. What a Scottish Open. Okay, without further ado, let's get into Eddie Pepperell's conspiracy theory. Now, the first tweet is a reaction to the PGA Tour communications tweet. It says here, due to forecasted high winds on Sunday, tee times for the final round of the Genesis Scottish Open will be from 6.45 to 8.57 a.m. British Standard Time. They'll be going out in threesomes off number one and ten. So essentially, moving them a lot earlier. I mean, usually the final group on a Sunday, we'll go out between sort of 12 and 2 p.m. and usually in two balls. So they've done like what's called a U-draw, the golf, the first and the 10th tee in order to get the players round much quicker and ahead of potential bad weather. Now, Ben Coley reacted to this, and this is just building the story here because you need some sort of, I don't know, uh, context to this. So Ben Coley said, which is a golfer reacting to this, going to be a bore, but giving absolutely they can't go into Monday, if there is a genuine risk of play, would have to be suspended, as it has been there multiple times previously, what are they meant to do except go out early? Imagine aiming for 2pm and not going to be able to play. Now that's fair enough, isn't it? Like, you're on the eve of a major championship, and Ben's basically saying... They have nothing else they can do. Like, they're trying to basically hedge their bets. They're trying to make sure they get a result because they don't want to take up major championship week. Like, you think from Monday all the way through to Sunday, media commitments, practice rounds, more intensity, more research, more going on is what I'm trying to say. And the Genesis Scottish Open don't want to take anything away from that. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, I can totally see why the tour would do what they would do. Now, this is where it gets juicy. Eddie Pepperell says this. Like, don't forget, like, he's sat here on Twitter giving it, ooh, you know what? I'm going to put this on. So he says, here's my conspiracy. And you all know I like conspiracies. They don't want to put the top players through too much. The week before the big one. Today's decision was weird one looking at the forecast. P.S. Please don't at me, people. It's just a hunch. So do you think the tour would do that? Do you think the tour would be bothered about affecting the performance of the top players? Like, you think up there in contention, you had Rory, Tommy Fleetwood, Scotty Scheffler, Tyrrell Hatton. These are all big ticket players. Now, in terms of the Gen Genesis Scottish Open, Genesis being the sponsor, they're well happy with this. they got flagship players up there. But would they be thinking, right... 
if we affect the top players that are playing this week and they have to go into Monday, we're affecting their prep for the Open. Does that enter the equation? Because if they affect their prep for the Open, that's maybe going to affect their chances of winning the Open. That's maybe going to affect their chances of having the top players on TV at the Open for the final round, creating the biggest sceptical. I can sort of see where his hunch would come from this. Now, he goes on further to say, and he reacts to a lot of tweets here, James Wiles goes on here and says, they just want to give themselves the best chance to finish, period. No conspiracy, just finish. Okay, James, 100% agree with you in terms of that. I can see that. So Eddie Pepperell goes back to him directly, like straight away, and says, I know. I was just adding into yesterday's decision to bring the tea times forward, which I thought was an odd one given previous feedback in years gone by about players not wanting too much of a tough test the week before the Open. Pete Graydon replies to this and goes, I wonder how the 9 million sponsors feel about this. Go on, please do let me know. I love it when you get down the comments with any of these conspiracies, with any of this breaking news, because I want us to sort of dissect this. And whatever you put down in the comments, I will personally respond. So please do get down in the comments there. Eddie Pepperell then replies, replies further and goes, they've got Rory leading with a great leaderboard. I'm sure they're happy. I'm sure they are. We just said that, right? Okay, Lad Golf then responds going, if playing golf in Windy is too much, then they need to find something else to do for a living. Totally agree. Eddie's final couple of responses here are, however, if players think that playing in 40 mile an hour gust is going to affect their performance next week, in quotes here, quite reasonable assertion. Okay, I, I agree, it does. Like playing in tough wind will affect your performance in terms of affect your swing. They are less likely to consider playing the event next year. So the DP World Tour especially, tours have to consider that. So what he's saying here is, if, for example, let's say, obviously, Roy, what a performance, he's won the Scottish, but playing in bad wins has gonna is going to affect him next week, he might think twice about playing the Scottish Open next year. Players sometimes don't play the week before a major because they want, don't want to play in certain conditions which is going to affect their game. He finally says, having said that, forecast looks very windy early doors tomorrow anyway. So for those like me who like to see carnage, it'll still be that case. I'm just annoyed I won't see it as I'm flying on my holiday tomorrow morning to drown my sorrows. Okay, so a little bit of sarcasm from him there. And I'm going to say this, right? Watching the Scottish Open this morning, a lot of the balls were oscillating. Take Tom Kim on the final green. Like, he three-putted, had to stand off his putt, the last thing Rory wanted, because his ball was oscillating. The question is to you, did the Tour make the right decision moving the tees forward, given that the Open's next week? And was that done for the benefit of the Tour and the tournament, or to benefit the high-ticket players? Let me know what you think. Are they thinking long-term, like, we don't want to affect their game because they won't play next year, then that's going to affect the sponsors if we don't have big-ticket players? What do you think is going into their mind? Now, I just want to go through a few of these responses here. Right. Derek says here, it's still going to be fairly rough about that time tomorrow. Have to look at the forecast. Okay. Another one says here, it's only a bit of wind. Another Bobby T says here, Eddie's 100% spot on. Another one from Steve here saying, it was a fast today. The weather was just fine. So what if the players get wet or windy? It's like Scotland and it's it's golf for goodness sake. Now, the thing that I would say is, I'm going to be sound like bad here. I like it when the players have got a test, especially in a Lynx golf course. Like next week at the Open, I'm hoping it's wet, it's windy, it's grueling. The players have got to fight for that. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining me on today. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on today's video. Is Eddie Pepper all right? Is he wrong? Is he a bit of a conspiracy theorist? I would love to know what you think on this. And always, I bring you breaking news every single day. So please do consider subscribing to the channel.